No, when we move in together, can I get a gumball machine? Of course. Joey wouldn't let you have one? No, when it comes to sweets, he's surprisingly strict. Hey, have you figured out a way to tell him you're moving out? No, no, I keep trying, you know, and I can get out. Joey, I have to, but then I lose my nerve and I always finish with go to the bathroom. <laughs> he may think I'm sick. You know, I really have to tell Rachel, but I... We just gotta get it over with. You know what? The next time we see them, we're just gonna tell them, okay? That's it. Oh, is that how this is gonna work now? You're just gonna order me around all the time? Pretty much. All right. Hey, Monica. Hi. Hey, man, you feeling better? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, Joey, we have something to tell you. Oh, my God. You're pregnant! <laughs> no. No. No! <laughs> Look, Joe, here's the thing. Um, Monica and I have decided to live together here, so I'm going to be moving out, man. Wow. Well, uh, hey, really happy for you guys. Congratulations. I'll <laughs> see you later. Hey, Joey, Joey, are you okay? Yeah, I've got to go. I've got an acting job. Like you believe that? <laughs> this sucks. Look, I'm, I'm just gonna be right across the hall, and I promise you, the minute Monica and I break up, I'm moving right back in with you. Maybe that's now. Okay, look, look, look. Uh, if you're gonna be moving in with him, I feel that it is my responsibility to tell you the truth about him. Okay, he's a terrible roommate. Terrible. He uh, forgets to. Um, he uh, always. He always. Uh, Oh, my kidney's He's the best roommate ever. <laughs> hey, peeps. Hey. Oh, look, here's an article about people who marry people and don't tell them. Really? Yeah, I'm reading Ross Geller magazine. <laughs> hey, peeps. Hey. Hey, have you seen Rachel? No, why? I have some pretty exciting news. <gasps> You're pregnant. <laughs> no. Chandler and I are moving in together. Oh, that's good! Wow, but now if you were pregnant, what would you name it? Hit Phoebe. Hey. Hey. Hi. What's up? Well, um... Chandler and I are moving in together. Oh, my God. Oh, my little sister and my best friend. Shack it up. That's great. That's great. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I'm happy too. Okay, uh, come here. <laughs> wow, big day, huh? People moving in, people getting annulled. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go find Rachel, but um, if you guys see her, would you please try to give her some really bad news so mine doesn't seem so bad? Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> hmm, something bad to tell Rachel. <laughs> Bad news for Rachel. Look at that bee. Can you just can you just lay off, please? All right, my life is an embarrassment. I should just go live under somebody's stairs. Ross, it's not that big a deal. So you'll have been divorced three times. You'll still have a life. You'll go on dates. No, 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 I won't. I'll be at the bottom of the dating barrel now. Uh, the only guys below me will be four divorce guy, a uh, murderer guy, and and geologists. <laughs> Ross, you're being ridiculous, okay? You are cute and smart and sweet, and that is much more important than three stupid divorces. Oh, yeah? Have you ever dated anyone who's been divorced three times? Well, that's not really fair. You know, most guys who've been divorced three times are like 60. <laughs> you're young. That's true. I, I am young. Well... Nobody cares about this except you. You're, uh, this embarrassment thing is all in your head. Here, I'll show you. Come here. What? Hi. Hi. Listen, my friend Ross is about to be divorced for the third time, but wouldn't you date him? And if you wait right here, I'll go get Ross. 